Hi, Giri. Yeah, hi, Deepi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm also doing good. Yeah. Yeah, congratulations firstly for your talk being selected for uh, Lightning Talks in ADHDR 2022. Yeah, I'm very glad about it and I have to thank the members for uh, selecting it and uh, providing me the opportunity to share my thoughts on automation to the wider audience. Uh, right by doing so, even they will be coming uh, to uh, know about the, the thoughts which I have implemented uh, in my uh, work. And also they can also give me some suggestions which can add the flavor to my topic. Uh, in that way, I have to thank everybody, especially the jury members. Great, it's great to have you among our speakers. Uh, can you just briefly introduce yourself, Giri, uh, about your career uh, background and your passion? Yeah. About so uh, basically I'm an engineering graduate, uh, graduated in the year uh, 2013 and uh, I started my career at uh, in software industry 2014. My first company was CGI. Uh, right from the day one, I was into the performance testing. And uh, in the four years of span, first four years, I was with uh, CGA. And from uh, Feb 2019, I was uh, I have joined uh, the Cognizant Technology Solutions. Until now, I was with uh, the same company. Uh, so my entire career is about performance testing and also some parts with engineering. Uh, uh, completely a day-to-day -day activities uh, will be like right from the script preparation, uh, doing a various kind of performance testing activities and identifying the bottlenecks and uh, sharing our findings and also uh, bringing these suggestions uh, to our findings, which in turn will, uh, you know, uh, tune something and uh, will give some very good uh, experience as an end product for the customers, right? So that kind of uh, activity that uh, we are currently involving uh, Okay. So in technical perspectives with performance testing, a various kind of tools I have involved it and also with base monitoring tool, different technology stacks and right from uh, on-prem data servers to the, the cloud servers, right? So um, I have a for the technologies. Uh, great. I understand you come from a performance testing uh, background. Is there any specific, you know, reference or like some story behind why you wanted to select uh, the topic that you have chosen, which is automatic end-to-end -end, uh, performance testing? So there was the case study behind it um, because uh, uh, the greatest disadvantage which we are facing in our day-to-day -day activities is like we have to uh, do a multiple models of testing, multiple models in the sense like you have the desktop-based application, mobile-based applications, and also the portal which you are using through your regular internet explorer or Chrome. So different kinds of application which we are having, right? So, and also the project sizes are very heavy, which in turn you have to split your projects into different machines so that your loading times get significantly reduced. Uh, so considering all these aspects, uh, we came up with an approach of, approach of automating the uh, entire project suits, right? With the help of uh, Jenkins uh, master slave concept. This has significantly reduced our time, uh, I mean the manual work, right from the start to the end. Start to the end in the sense, if you are doing the testing activities, right, you have a lot of prep activities has to be done before you are initiating the test. And in between also you have to do uh, monitoring of the test, etc. And also at the end of the test, you have to have the results numbers in the Excel sheet or some other format, right? So this end-to-end -end testing with uh, various modules, right? It involves a lot of manual resources because each resources has to be allocated to one one modules, right? So all this process being eliminated by following the approach which I have um, maybe which I have implemented, and also I have given the content in the abstract, right? So by doing so, we have eliminated a lot of the uh, manual works, which in turn that uh, manual efforts can be involved in analyzing, doing the quality works, especially the engineering work kind of thing, where we can spend our uh, the quality time with analyzing the bottlenecks, right? Because that only add more values rather than uh, doing normal performance testing. We use this quality time to identify the bottlenecks, which in turn drive the customer product uh, more faster, right? So that kind of uh, work actually we are able to achieve by automating this entire end-to-end uh, -end approach. So this was the actual case study behind developing uh, this approach.
Great. Uh, nice to know the depth uh, behind that. Uh, Giri just wanted to know who is uh, your audience, as in what kind of audience are you like looking for who can benefit out of your talk about this? Uh, so my uh, audience would be those completely involved in the performance testing because almost all of them will be using the automation tools to do their performance testing. Of course, if they are doing it for enterprise-based application, they will be uh, um, having a different models of performance testing, right? And also, uh, if they think like they are spending a lot of manual hours, which can be replaced by means of uh, automation work so that they can use their quality time to some other activities, right? So if in this kind of scenarios, if the audience are having, I'm saying, yes, my topic would be the best example for uh, their case study. Okay. Uh, I understand you gave a lot of uh, important points about your topic, but then if there is any particular key takeaways uh, for the people who attend uh, this topic or people who are interested in performance testing, what would it be? Um, my uh, main thing would be like uh, the main key takeaway which they can take from my uh, topic is like uh, the way in which I have developed this automation work, right? Is It is ease of maintenance. It can be easily implemented across all the irrespective of the tools, right? If Even if you take NeoLoad or JMeter or LoadRunner or whatever the tools which have the facility of running in the command line uh, mode of executions, right? So it will be easy to maintenance and they can easily implement the uh, points which I have uh, done or which I have shared, right? So it will be, uh, that's what like finally is like with ease of maintenance, everybody can uh, implement my idea. Would you want to share anything about your association with Agile Testing Alliance? Is this your first time with GTM? Uh, no, this was my third time. Uh, in the previous two years, I used to submit the abstract, but on different topics. Uh, but I couldn't uh, make more than the round one. So this time I'm very happy because the third time I attempted and I could reach the round two on your presentation. Great. Congratulations for the efforts and persistent tries uh, that you have been doing with us. Uh, lastly, uh, what do you think the community is and how important has uh, you know community been to you? Any thoughts about that? Uh, this is something like a community gathering, kind of a group discussion, right? So we meet different types of people. So they can share the ideas, which in turn we can learn from them and we can also uh, put forward for our, our idea. So this kind of, we have this kind of a mass gathering and community gathering, right? So different ideas can be teached and which will be very full, uh, useful for us to enhance our career and also the work which we are doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Great. Uh, we are very excited to have you on the GTR, uh, Giri, and also to listen to your topic. So all the very best and congratulations. Welcome on board and we'll meet in the ATA GTR 2022. Yeah, thanks, Deepi, and thanks once again for uh, the jury members and organizing team uh, for providing uh, this platform to showcase my idea. We're glad you're associated with us, Kitty. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you.